here at Optimotive. I've got Scott with me. For some reason, I took Scott's hard hat. I don't know, but I just love it. I love the color here. Hey, Scott, um, we got three words for you here. Um, it's really important to have your robotics that are autonomous and that are reliable and um, that there's one more word what's self another self-sufficient which is so important um, and that's what you've been working on here with Optimotive talk about that yeah so Optimotive we're a Windsor based startup focused on enabling automation in muddy dusty otherwise unpredictable environments we believe heavily that robotic platforms should be low cost introduced almost as new members of the workforce to work side by side with humans and that they should be self-sufficient to be able to actually operate on their own without any human intervention whatsoever you're talking about dusty and muddy and I remember that was those were some of the problems, the initial problems, like, oh, cool, a robot, but then it gets stuck. It can't move because there is this terrain that's a bit rough. We've got, come a long way since then. I believe so, too. And yeah, like when you look at automation in the past, it's been traditionally very factory uh, heavy environments, uh, very clear environments, clean, uh, predictable. And now we're seeing a huge boom in construction markets, mining, oil and gas, those environments that traditionally didn't have any cost effective tools to be able to introduce them into those different types of environments. So that's really what we're working on and um, the gains that can be had in those types of environments are so drastic because those environments that we're working in are still very uh, human labor intensive, very uh, cost prohibitive, as well as the margins are very, very thin to actually go out and operate on those types of sites. So it's the perfect storm for automation. It's just a lack of available tools, which is what we're trying to address here today. You've been around for about five years now. Yeah. Okay. Um, what would you like to see? How far would you like to see the company go within the next 12 months, 18 months. Yeah, so we're right at this exciting cycle where we're starting to produce lots of robots. That's been our biggest challenge in the past six months is that all the customers that we've been able to, to work with and all of our, our technical partners have said, this is amazing, this is great. How can we get more of them? How can we get some more robots out on the sites? How can we move past this that pilot phase where we're just testing things out? Uh, so the biggest challenges that we're facing over these next 12 months is how do we actually go out and produce lots of these robots? So the robots that you see around me today are primarily prototypes, early testing models, ones that we are um, really learning a lot about the actual operations in these types of environments. So now we need to transition from, from being that startup to actually being uh, in scale production, actually going and producing lots of these units. So uh, we've purchased over 15 units now uh, from an inventory perspective. So it's just a matter of uh, keeping our nose to the grindstone and making sure we can go out and build them. Fantastic. Scott, can you tell me this? The robot that we have behind us, what is it? What is its prime focus, like prime um, function? Yeah. So the primary use case of the robots you see behind us, their name is Iris, uh, is data capture. So customers operating in the muddy, the dusty, and otherwise unpredictable environments need to be able to make actionable insights on how they're actually operating their business, and that requires a whole lot of data. So in the context of a construction customer, it's things like running around and capturing 3D scanning information, taking photos, inspecting various uh, elements of risk. So traditionally, that's a task being done, and that's a keyword task, not a job, uh, being done by humans that they don't really want to do. Um, it's a rough task and it's very uh, laborious, mundane, repetitive. So that's the prime opportunity for automation to be introduced. So we built a data capture robot surrounding that exact same use case uh, for the automation of 3D scanning, 360 photo captures for those customers in the muddy, the dusty, the otherwise unpredictable environments. And it sounds like it's a perfect combination here, uh, a partnership where these robots can support the work that humans do. And I think that's the critical part of it too, where humans are inherently high value. Um, the, the amount of tasks that humans can do is tr truly like amazing when you really think about it. Um, so why do we have humans doing the most laborious, repetitive and mundane tasks when they should be focused on the most meaningful things on site, like extracting resources from the ground, building the construction project. We shouldn't have them running around, taking photos of things, sweeping brooms. That should be left to robotic platforms in our minds, which is really where the, the ethos behind Optimotive came from, was to be able to introduce those robots to be able to automate those tasks. Scott, the company is based in Windsor as well as Miami, but uh, you come a long way here, five years and so much more to go. Continued success to you, Scott. Thank you so much for, for taking the time to chat to us. Appreciate the time and uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here at such an amazing trade show.